no idea. do a cost breakdown of my home theater starting with the left and right speakers these are the Klipsch RP280F those are $400 a pair the center speaker is the Klipsch RP450C with a removable magnetic grill that is also $400. The surround speakers and the four Atmo speakers are $375, but I was what I got them for but I believe they are currently on sale at uh, Crutchfield for $300 a pair. Just pull the globe off to show them. So I have the, the Atmos ones mounted by the base and they're upside down. I'll just leave that there for now. And then the side and the rear surrounds have the base removed. So those are $375 a pair. So the total amount in just speaker costs is $2,700. The four monolith 10 inch subwoofers up front are $500 a piece and the 15 inch monolith subs in the rear are, I got them on sale for $1,000 a piece. So that brings the total sub cost to four thousand dollars moving on to the display my projector is the sony vpl 325 es true 4k projector it had an original cost of five thousand five hundred dollars and i purchased it from crutchfield uh fortunately like a month after i got it there was a rebate or a, it went on sale for five hundred dollars off so I was actually able to get a refund of that $500. Previous to that, I had uh, 4K Optima projectors. I cannot recall the model number, but after a few months of both of those projectors, it developed a dead pixel. And fortunately I was able to get a full refund. And so that's what led me to this projector, not wanting to have to go through that scenario again. So only to find out that these Sony's potentially, well in the past they had something called panel degradation and I'm not certain if the newer Sony's, like I don't know, I'm not sure if this one has that or not, but I guess I'll find out. So moving on to the screen, it is a silver ticket, 115 inch, 235 to one screen. And that was purchased on Amazon for $300. I actually forgot. The chief mount, the stabilizing mount, and I'm also going to be excluding um, a lot of miscellaneous things like the thing that's actually connecting it to the ceiling. But this this thing with the four weights in the corner, the stabilizing mount, that is a normal retail price of what is that normally cost? That's about that's also over five hundred dollars, but I got it for about one twenty. And the outside, I have four pairs of. 3D projector glasses and those were a total of 160 so that brings us to a total of for the display of $5,580 moving on to the equipment room so this is my pre-processor the Marantz 7705 I originally started out with a Marantz 7013, which is the surround sound receiver sister to this pre-processor, I would say. 
Um, I got the receiver off of Crutchfield for $1,600 and saw that Accessories for Less had this preprocessor for the same exact price. So I was able to make a return and just make an even swap basically. The amplifiers, I have two Model 7000X amplifiers. I got these off of Outlaw Audio under their B stock section. And the cool thing about that is for some reason they didn't charge tax, they don't charge shipping. So I got these for $909 a piece. I didn't buy them at the same time. You basically get lucky, you can check their B stock. They both arrive with absolutely no problems at all. No hum, no damage, no nothing. Basically, uh, I don't see any reason why not to go with the B stock. The Panamax power conditioner, how much did that cost? That was $580. So I had in the past a monster power conditioner. And this is, I mean, this is back in 2006. And so before getting the power conditioner, I watched the DVD of War of the Worlds. And I remember how good it sounded in the movie theater and was so disappointed by the sound on my home theater at that time and it might have been in my head i'm not sure but i got the monster power conditioner and watched that same dvd and it sounded different it maybe it had a bad power uh, bad power in the place i was living um i think it i think it all has to do with maybe it's in my head or it has to do with whether you have uh, bad power dirty power um, in your house. So yeah, ever since then, I swear by power conditioners. I don't have my amplifiers hooked up through it, but the uh, all of the you know display equipment and the processor, the, all that's hooked up through there. So the Panasonic UB420, I believe it normally is, costs about $250, but I got that for 150 Got that on sale for 150 so it goes on sale all the time. Um, all of the cooling fans combined. So I've got the, uh, the one on top of the processor, one on top of this amp, and then behind, behind this mess of wires are two more AC Infinity fans. So it's a total of $200 in fans. The butt kicker amplifier, as old as it is, at the time, that was, um, I believe that's $200 I got there. So adding everything up, oh, and the Fire Stick, $38 is hidden behind the processor. Uh, total of $4,588, bringing us to a new total so far of $16,868. Okay, so now we're on to acoustic treatment which consists of real traps, Mondo traps, homemade panels from materials from Acoustamac, and I've combined this with all the additional mounts, the speaker mounts, and that comes out to a total of $2,018. The seating from Seacraft, the Seacraft Serenity up front, and the Seacraft Diamante in the rear. Combined total, also including the bass shakers that are in the rear seats. The uh, I added those on separately, and the front came with bass shakers built in. So the combined total of the seating cost was $4,200. bringing us to a final cost of $23,086. All of those prices are excluding tax, everything that's currently in the theater. So excluding paint, um, odds and ends, wires, it does not, that price does not include those things. Where are my manners? Sonic, meet Knuckles. <laughs>